Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by Ash Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.5 and problem number 2.70. A 667.5 Newton's man stands on the middle rung of a 222.5 Newton's ladder as shown in the figure. Assuming the end B rests on the corner of a wall and a stop at A to prevent slipping, Find the reactions at A and B. That means this ladder is stopping at B and it is also stopping at A like this. A man is also standing here whose weight is 667.5 Newtons. Now let us find the various forces acting on this ladder AB. So here A there is a horizontal reaction so that is RAH and there is a vertical reaction that is RAV because ladder is prevent to move in the horizontal direction as well as in the vertical direction. And two reactions will develop here RAH and RAV. Now here the reaction at B is perpendicular to the surface hence this reaction is let R. Let AB makes an angle theta with the horizontal hence this R which is perpendicular to this ladder AB makes the same angle theta but with the vertical because these two are perpendicular. Now this R I can resolve in two components one is R sin theta and another one is R cos theta. Now the length of the AB I can find the length of the AB by using the equation root of 3.6 square plus 1.8 square so I can find it is 4.02 and the weight is acting exactly at the center hence this distance is 2.01 and this distance is 2.01. Now I can find the value of theta so tan theta is equal to the opposite side that is 0.6 divided by adjacent side 1.8 which gives the value that is 63.44. Let us apply the equilibrium equation now sigma fx is equal to 0 there are only two forces acting along x axis. Hence, I can find RAH is equal to R sin theta. Let this equation is equation number 1. Sigma Fy is equal to 0. There are three forces acting along y axis. Hence, I can write RAV plus R cos theta is equal to the weight of the man plus weight of the ladder that is equal to 890. RAV plus R cos theta is equal to 890. Let this equation is equation number 2. Now, we will take the moments about A. Now these two forces are passing through this point these two will not introduce any moment. So, the weight W will introduce a moment in the clockwise direction. The R sin theta will introduce a moment in the counterclockwise direction and R cos theta will also introduce the moment in the counterclockwise direction. Now what I what all I required is the perpendicular distances. First let us see the perpendicular distance of R sin theta. Now this is the line of action of R sin theta, line of action of R sin theta. From point A, the distance between this point and the line of action of this R sin theta is nothing but this vertical and that distance is known that is 3.6. Similarly, the perpendicular distance between the W and A, so this is the line of action of the W, this distance can be considered as 2.01 cos 63.44 that is by considering this uh, right angle triangle. So this distance becomes 2.01 cos 63.44. And another one R cos theta. So this is the line of action of R cos theta and from point A to the line of action of R cos theta. So this distance is equal to 1.8. So you know all the distances. Hence, I can apply the moments equation sigma m a is equal to 0 that is r sin theta into 3.6 plus r cos theta into 1.8. These two are in the counterclockwise direction. So, hence it is positive minus the moment produced by the weight w that is 890 into the perpendicular distance 2.01 into cos 63.44 is equal to 0. Now upon simplification I can find the value of R and this R value is 198.76 Newtons. Now from equation 1 
R A H is equal to 198.76 into sin 63.44 so that is 177.78 newtons. From equation 2 I can find R A V that is 801.13 newtons. Since I know the value of R A H and R A V so R, I can find R A that is square root under R A H square plus R A V square that is 820.6 newtons. Hence the answers are R is equal to 198.76 and R A is equal to 820.6.